Let us try to work with this data on Australia's population. So I have the year and the population and the step one is plotting the data. And so select data, insert, plot, and I cannot make line charts because Excel will assume the first column to be um, uh, numerical. So I plot scatter chart and you know I like this column. So when I look at this, I see that the population has a consistently increasing trend. And uh, the best method for trend is double exponential smoothing. Um, so we will have alpha and beta instead of just alpha here. Alpha to find the level and beta for the trend. So what we would have done is find the alpha, find the beta, find, we'll assume something to start with, um, start it up, uh, find the errors and minimize the errors and that's our perfect alpha and beta. We could have done that, but that gets complicated. So something easier is to use an online tool. So this tool that we have here allows us um, exponential smoothing free of, co uh, free of cost. The link should be there in the description. Um, and um, you know, whenever I have such tools, I'm a little bit apprehensive. Are these tools giving me correct data? Are, do they work? So I've already done simple exponential smoothing. So I'm going to test that out. A problem with this engine is deleting data. It takes, I have to select all this data manually. And after selecting it, I delete it. And then I go back to my Excel file, the exports, which I've already predicted. And I'm going to see if it works out, okay? So I select my data on exports. And go back to this tool, paste this data. Seasonal period does not matter um, because there's no seasonality. Single exponential smoothing, additive, and then I will ask it to calculate. So it computes and gives me the data. It gives me the fitted values. I'm going to ignore all those. I'm going to try and see the value 22. It says the constant forecast is 22.44445 or something like that. And when I look at my forecast, that was the exact same value I had, 22.44. So the engine is correct. And my alpha value is 0.839 or 0.84 or whatever. And when I scroll up here, it says the alpha value is 0.839, which is also the same thing what I have. So proven, this engine works. But now I'm going to use this engine to um, do the double exponential smoothing. Select the data and delete it. This is the most painful part, but that's okay. I'm gonna select my population. Come here, paste it, control V. Seasonality does not matter, matter but I want double exponential smoothing. And I, instead of getting a chart here, I ask the tool to give me a CSV file. And I ask it to compute. And says open with Excel. It'll open a new file. This is the new file. These are the fitted values, which are the forecast of the past. Fitted is a more accurate description. I copy these fitted values come back to our sheet and paste it here. These are my forecast. Again, I go back to that site for the forecasts and these are the forecast for the future. There is a 95% confidence level, which I may want to use. Come here and I am going to paste the forecasts here. I'm going to paste them here under the forecast. And these are forecasts starting from 2018, 2019. There is some error in, in calculating or copy pasting the forecast, which I'll correct. I'll go back here. Residuals, oh, it starts from three. For some reason, it has not used residuals one and two, okay. 
so I'm gonna paste it I'm gonna delete this and paste it from three let's see all right so this is the predicted or the fitted values and these are my forecast for the future which um, it has um, using double exponential smoothing method again when I have only trends I use this method called double exponential smoothing